from the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C. Good morning, everyone. Hi. <laughs> I am Lane O'Neill. I write a, a twice-weekly column for the style section of the Washington Post. I have a quick confession. Um, I woke up sick this morning, so I took some cold medicine, which made me sleepy. And then, because I was sleepy, I had an energy drink, which made me up. And <laughs> so I'm a couple different places at once. So th that, let that explain any ticks you might see. The Washington Post is a charter sponsor of the National Book Festival, and this is the 15th year that the Library of Congress has hosted the festival. This year, new, uh, the Library of Congress app is available, and you can find author information, convention center maps, and the festival's Twitter, Twitter handle, for those of you on social media, is hashtag NatBookFest15. I have the pleasure of introducing Steve Light, author of Have You Seen My Dragon? In the heart of the city, among taxis and towers, a small boy travels uptown and down, searching for his friend. Is the dragon taking the crosstown bus or breathing his fiery breath below a busy street? Reviewers call Steve Light's pen and ink illustrations masterful. Black for the ornate details of New York City. Colored pencils for all the things to count, from one green dragon to two pink hot dogs, purple buses, blue sailboats, traffic lights, all the way up to 20 red lanterns. Have You Seen My Dragon? Got a starred review from the School Library Journal. It won a Parents' Choice Gold Award and was selected for the Original Art 2014, an exhibition of children's book illustration by the Society of Illustrators. Mr. Light grew up in New Jersey. He went on to study illustration at Pratt Institute and did corporate illustrations for companies like AT&T, Sony Films, and the New York Times Book Review. His button designs were acquired by the Q Cooper Hewitt Design Museum, which I thought was fascinating. All of this, and then he got into his children's books, which include Zephyr Takes Flight, Diggers Go, Trains Go, The Christmas Giant, and The Shoemaker Extraordinaire. I love that title, among others. Steve Light wants everyone to know he loves to draw. He draws every single day on his sketchbook or on fancy paper for an illustration. He loves and collects fountain pens and loves to make sculptures out of to and toys out of wood. Most especially, Steve loves sharing his art and stories with children. Please join me in welcoming Steve Light to the National Book Festival. about a little boy who loses his dragon in the city. But I have a question first, okay? How many of you here, if you can count to five, put your hand on your head, let me see. Great. If you can count to 10, grab your ear, let me see. If you can count to 15, touch your nose. Oh, good. And if you can count to 20, grab your chin. Let me see. Excellent, I'm gonna need your help. Will you help me count? Because this is a counting book. Will you help me count? We're gonna go all the way up to 20, all right? So it starts, it says, have you seen my dragon? Because the little boy is looking. Now, the first page is the end page. End pages come at the beginning and the end, both ends of the book. And we're going to talk a little bit about them at the end of the book. It says, have you seen my dragon? Now, the dragon is white here. The dragon can turn colors. Sometimes it's green, sometimes it's white. And the little boy is playing ball with the dragon. And it says, have you seen my dragon? No, I will go look for him. And now this is a really easy page to count because there's just one dragon. Can you count with me? Ready? One. Good job. It's going to get harder, but one dragon. Now the dragon is hidden in the other pictures, so we're going to have to look for him, okay? It says, maybe he got hungry and stopped for a hot dog. And so there's two hot dogs to count. Let's count them. Ready? One, two. Good job. You guys are really good. And there's the dragon. He's about to eat this guy's hot dog. He has his eyes closed. He doesn't know. And then it says, or perhaps he went downtown on the bus. And there's three buses. Let's count them. Ready? One, two three. And sometimes the little boy is hard to find too, but he's right here in the bus stop. He's telling, asking the old lady if she's seen his dragon. Oh, there's the dragon. Very good. He gets a little bit harder to read. Can you see him? 
Can you see him? And says, it's possible he went for a swim. And there's four sailboats. And they're blue. Ready? Let's count them. Ready? One, two, three, four. Oh, you guys are so good at counting. And here's the dragon. He's swimming like the Loch Ness Monster. And the little boy, he's hard to find, but he's asking the ship captain right there on this blue ship. It says, or maybe he climbed up high to get a drink of water. Now, do you guys know what these are? These are called water towers. And in the city where I live, especially in Brooklyn, there's a lot of these water towers on the tops of the buildings. They bring the water into all the apartments in the building. And so there's five water towers. Let's count them. Ready? Take a breath. One, two, three, four, five. And the dragon is drinking some water. And there's also something else interesting in this, this page. At the tops of the buildings are some faces carved. And when the faces are made out of leaves, those are called green men. So when you're in the city, you can look around at the different architecture. And sometimes they're above the windows. Sometimes they're at the tops of the buildings. If the face is carved in stone and it's made out of leaves, it's called a green man. So you can look for those. Oh, it says, has my dragon been here to visit the monkeys? And so there's six monkeys. Let's count them. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. And six is the little baby monkey. Now... The dragon is here as the fountain, and the little boy is asking the zookeeper, but i got to show you something about this picture. Do you see this monkey? He's got a long stick, and he's stealing the keys from the zookeeper. He escapes the zoo. So at the end of the story, don't let me forget. Ask me where the monkey went, and I'll show you where the monkey is, okay? All right, here we go. Now we got to turn the book this way. Are you ready? It says, could he be helping the delivery man again? And I got to draw inside the building, and the dragon is there pushing the elevator up, and there's seven blue boxes that got delivered. Let's count them. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'll show you something secret about this picture. Right there, see that guy sitting there with his pens drawing? That's me. <laughs> and this is my wife on the balcony. We don't have a balcony in the city, but we're hoping someday. So I drew that like that. And it says, I hope he didn't start a fire with his dragon breath. He's a very safe dragon. He never starts fires. But he is blowing a little bit of fire right here. And there's eight fire hydrants. Let's count them. Ready? Take a deep breath. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the great thing about this picture is you can turn it this way, and these buildings are right side up. You can turn it this way, and these buildings are right side up. You can turn it this way, and these buildings are right side up. Or you can look at it this way, and these buildings are right side up. So you can look at it whichever way you want. It was really fun to draw it that way. And it says, I will look for him at the bookstall. My dragon loves to read. And guess what? I know that all of you love to read because you're here at the book festival. And we have nine books to count. Are you ready? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And there's the dragon. He's reading over this lady's shoulder. And the little boy's there about ready to buy a book. And it says, Hello! Has my dragon come through here? And the man is painting a mural on the side of the building. There's a lot of, lots of murals in New York City. I'm sure in Washington, too. And a mural is when someone paints on the side of the building, on the brick wall or the side of the, of the building. And uh, sometimes they paint ads, and sometimes they paint beautiful pictures. And so he's painting a mural of a castle. And here's the dragon going his tails outside this window of the apartment. And he goes all the way through the apartment with his head sticking out the other side. And there, guess how many paint cans there are? Ten. We have to count them. Are you ready? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Oh, this is my favorite one. It says, where could he be? Down underground? And he's down. Look, he's blowing the smoke that's going through the pipes and coming out of the manhole covers. Sometimes in the city you'll see the smoke coming out of the manhole covers. It's not fire. It's mostly just steam. But I was pretending that it came from a dragon because when I was little and I used to see the smoke coming out of the manhole covers, I asked my dad one time and he said, oh, because there's dragons that live down there. <laughs> and so for a really long time, I believed that. And when I was drawing some buildings in, in New York City, I came up with the idea of the dragon being down there. And that's how this book came about. So there's 11 manhole covers. That's a lot. Ready? Take a deep breath. Let's count. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and there's something else on this page. There are three, I think there's three rats. Are you ready? I'm gonna show you where maybe there's only two. No, there's three. There's one, there's two, and there's three. Because sometimes there's rats under the ground. Oh, this one's really good. It's really hard to find all the pigeons, but I'm gonna help you because I drew it so I know where they are. 
It says maybe he's up high on a rooftop. Now, sometimes people raise pigeons in the city on the top of the rooftop, and they have to clap their hands when they let them go so that they get enough exercise and keep flying. Otherwise, they'll come right back to their, their coop. There's 12 pigeons. That's a lot. Let's count, and the 12th one's really hard to find. Okay, are you ready? Take a deep breath. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Do you see the twelfth one? It's right there. It's tiny. And there's the dragon right up there. All right. And there's another green man, too, on the top of the building. Sometimes there's stars carved on the tops of the buildings, too. Wait. I'm not getting the next page. Okay, here we go. Oh, I want ice cream. Maybe my dragon wants some, too. I love ice cream, can you tell? And he's getting ice cream from an ice cream truck. And the dragon is about to bite the ice cream sign, which is really plastic and is not going to taste very good. But he doesn't know that yet. And there's 13 pink ice cream cones. Ready? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And this poor guy, he dropped his ice cream cone. And the little boy is getting his. And what flavor do you think pink ice cream is? Strawberry. Strawberry? There is a cotton candy. Did you say cotton candy? There is a cotton candy ice cream that is very pink like that. It says he loves the park. And everyone in the city, they walk their dogs in the park. And there's 14 dogs. Let's count them right away. Ready? Take a deep breath. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And this dog, the, the dragon has taken the ball from this dog. He's going to play with that dog. And this poor dog got away from this girl. She's, he's chasing a squirrel. And let me show you. This dog actually lives on my street, but the owner looks a little different than that. <laughs> and says, and he especially loves the playground. If you like the playground, put your hand on your head. All right. Playground's so much fun. And maybe he's there. And there's 15 red balloons. That's a lot to count. Are you guys going to help me? All right, take a deep breath. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Good job. And the dragon's there helping this girl up on the ladder. And the boy's asking the guy who's selling the, the balloons. Oh, it says maybe he went uptown on the subway. If you've ridden the subway, grab your ear like this. You've ridden the subway? So much fun. Now, the dragon's on top of the subway car. If you've ever seen a dragon in the subway, touch your nose. Anyone? No? You gotta look really carefully. All right, there's 16 subway cars. Are you ready? That's a big number. Let's take a deep breath. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And the little boy is right there asking the lady where his dragon is. What are these? Taxis. He said maybe he went across town on a taxi. There's 17 taxis. We have to count them. Are you ready? <gasps> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And the little boy is asking the taxi driver here, and the dragon is on top of this building right there. <laughs> oh my goodness, he says, where is my dragon? He just doesn't know. He's even on his bicycle now with his helmet, and he's riding across the park, and there's 18 bicycles. we got to count all 18. Are you ready? Take a deep breath. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Oh, we did it. And the dragon is on the rickshaw. Do you know what that is? You can get a ride from one of the bicyclers. He has a little seat in the back, but this bicycle, he's gonna be so tired tonight because that dragon is really heavy. And he says, wait, let's count all 19 lights first. Are you ready? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Did I skip one? Nineteen. Okay. <laughs> it's hard upside down. And it says, I've searched everywhere. <gasps> but wait, there's one more place to look. And the dragon is up here. Do you see the dragon? He's up there. And he says, There he is, right where I left him. Do you know where this is? This is Chinatown. And in Chinatown, there's lots of dragons on the buildings and on the lanterns. And sometimes they even dress up as a dragon for Chinese New Year. And there's his dragon. Now there's the last number. There's 20 lanterns we have to count. Are you guys, everyone is going to count with me? All right, ready? Take a deep breath. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And we are back to the end pages. And the end pages are a map. They start at one dragon, go to two hot dogs, three buses, four boats, and they go all, you can follow him all through the city. And that's, oh, the monkey. You want to see where the monkey is? All right, are you ready? He's on the, you have to do the back cover, and he's right there. Can you see him? Can they zoom in? Can you see him? He's sitting on the corner of that building, right there. Can you see him? Can you see him? He's really tiny, but he's there. Hopefully someone will get him and bring him back to the zoo, so he'll be safe. The guy who's doing the pigeons is up here, too. So, and there's a lot of other things from inside the book on the cover, so that's a lot of fun. But... I was going to draw a dragon, teach you guys how to draw a dragon. Would you like to see that? All right, let's try it. Sometimes you have to make the dots a little bit bigger. Do that. Now we're going to draw the same shape like this on the top to make his mouth. And then we're going to draw a little line on the top and another line like this. And then we need another shape on the bottom for his bottom part. Now a lot of times I don't get the point, so I'm going to say it looks like a duck. It looks like a duck. Don't worry, we're going to make it look like a dragon. Okay, here we go. We're going to draw a really long arch for his neck. Like that. And then another one for his body. And then we're going to kind of do kind of an S kind of shape, but a little backwards S. We're going to go like that. And we're going to come all the way back around like that. So we're almost to a dragon. We're going to draw some W's for his feet. Really? Look at that. And then we're going to draw some zigzags for his spikes. takes the longest part. Are you ready? You got to draw all the scales. You got to draw those. And it takes a really long time. And I'm going to do them until you guys are really bored. And then, <laughs> but, so most of my time, like I said, was drawing scales and windows on the buildings. Should I stop? Are you guys bored yet? Or should I finish on it? I'm going to draw them really fast. I usually don't draw them this fast. I usually take my time so they all line up. Kind of makes him look really special then. Oh, and he has little stripes on his feet too. And sometimes I draw extra lines in his spikes. We're almost done. How does it look? Okay. Stop. I should have never said it, you know? I thought if I said it, I wouldn't get that question. Do you guys have any questions? If I take a sip of water, okay, down there. Hold on, wait, I can't hear. 
It looks like a duck, but now it looks like a dragon, right? Good. I can hardly see. Oh, yes, you have a question? What? It looks more like a fish. It could look like a fish. You could make that into a fish if you wanted to, because of all the scales, too. Yes? I can't hear him. I live on 24th Street in New York City. You know what's cool about where I live? They just opened, I live near the Flatiron Building. Do you know that building? It's a triangular shaped building. If you look it up online, the Flatiron Building, it's really cool. But they just opened a Lego store near there, which is really cool. And they have a giant Lego dragon in there, which is really cool. So. A dog? Say it again. It looks like a dog. Do I have a, no, I don't have a dog. I have a cat. I have a cat named Maddie, and she sits next to me every time that I'm drawing. I have a little stool right next to me at my desk, and she sits there. And sometimes she gets bored, so I have some old pen caps that I put on my counter that's there, and she likes to knock those off. Do you know that cats like to do that? Cats like to knock things off of tables. So I have old pen caps and paper clips that I line up and she knocks those off. So when I'm working, I call that her work. She has to knock all those things off. So I keep her busy while she's doing that. So. Can you make the fire for the dragon? Oh, should we make him breathing fire? Sure, we can do that. Marker. Oh wait, we have red. Let's make red fire. make the dragon look a bit like a duck. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't intentionally do that. I drew him that way, and, and then when I would ever start drawing it, sometimes children would say it looked like a duck, so that's why I said that. But I didn't originally start to make it look like a duck. I really just wanted it to look like a dragon, but it looks a little like a duck. But that's okay. Ducks are really cool, so it's all right. Yeah, what's on the wall? What did he paint? Black? He just painted it black? And is it like chalkboard? Can you draw on it? Yeah. Oh, cool. And what, what do you like to draw on it? Um, different kind of things. Awesome. Keep drawing. I love to draw. I draw every day. One drew a train on the board. Cool. I love trains too. Trains are one of my favorite things to draw. Looks like a mermaid and a duck that needs a haircut. Yeah, it's got the scales of the mermaid, you know, and it's got the duck, you know, it's a lot of things in there, but you know, he's a pretty good dragon. How long did it take you to draw, uh, do the book? Oh, to do the book. Each, uh, let me grab the book. Each double page spread I do together, so. So these, like these two pages I do together. And so that takes me about two days. I usually wake up at 5 a.m. because it's nice and quiet. And I work till about 10 or 11. And then sometimes in the afternoon, I'll just go back for like an hour or so just to do little tweaks and stuff. And that, this, a page like that will take me about two to three days, depending. The cover took me like a whole week to do because that was really a lot of detail and a really long time. So. But it's fun. It's, it, it's really fun. I don't even notice the time going by. It goes by so fast because I love to draw and get caught up in creating all those things. Even when I'm drawing the buildings, I sometimes think about who lives there and stuff and the people on the street, who they are and where they're going and stuff like that. And it keeps me really entertained. So. Well, it looks a little like a dragon, but it also, also looks like a duck. And it also looks like just a giant spiny rock. Excellent, thank you. I think my next book needs to be about a, a duck dragon. 
I think that would be really good. Uh, I have a book just like you. Oh, you have a copy. Great. Do you like it? Good. My mommy bought it from work. Oh, that's so great. Um, it looks like a duck, and can you add um, um, the color to the umbrella? Color the umbrella? What color? Um, blue. Blue. All right, we'll color the umbrella blue. How about just every other stripe blue? How's that? <laughs> can we do the other stripes orange? I love blue and orange together. Coloring inside the lawn is very hard for me. How much does the little boy have to feed the dragon every day? No, I never thought about it. I don't know. What do you think? How much do you think he would eat? A lot. A lot. What do you think his favorite thing to eat is? Probably ice cream or hot dogs, like you mentioned. Uh, yeah, the, hot, the hot dogs and the ice cream, right? Yeah. Kind of my favorite things to eat, too, so you know? Why doesn't the dragon have wings? Oh, that's a good question. In my sketchbooks, when I was originally drawing him, he had wings. But then, in every picture, he was just flying around, which wasn't as much fun as him climbing on the buildings and him being harder to find. So in order for it to be more fun for you guys to find him in the pictures, we took away his wings. But um, if you draw him, you can draw him with wings, and then he can fly around, which would be really cool, right? You would kind of want a dragon that could fly and fly you around. but. But that's why he doesn't have wings in the book. That is a good question. I have a quick question. It's not about anything to do with ducks. OK. Um, <laughs> was it difficult to make the transition from pure drawing to drawing and storytelling? And how do you get those ideas? Um, I started become, I was a, um, I was doing illustration work. And then I was also took a job teaching art. And then I started um, do, being the storyteller at a school. So I was doing the storytelling. So from that, I just started to draw the pictures to the stories that I was telling. Um, so it wasn't that hard for me. Um, and most of my drawings always kind of have a story. I'm always thinking about what's going on. Like I said, even when I'm drawing a building, I'm thinking about who lives in that window as I'm drawing that window and stuff. So um, it, was, it was just a really fun transition, actually, to start drawing the pictures to the stories that I was creating. So thanks. like a duck, but I think it kind of looks like a dragon, too. I have a really good idea. Should we draw a duck with the... Let's draw a duck with the... Time for one more. Question is, I decided to. to get some grape juice for the house. You got grape and juice my for the mommy house? And daddy said yes. That is great. You like grape juice? I love grape juice. It's so tasty, right? But yeah. You, does mom and dad let you drink a lot of it or just a little bit? Um, they drink me just a little bit of it because I have a boo boo. Oh, yeah. Taking on my knee. Uh, does it feel okay now? Yeah. Is your boo boo feeling, feeling better? Yeah. Okay, good. I'm so glad. I think, I think we have to wrap it up, but thank you guys. And I will be signing books, so if you have other questions, you can, you can see me there and ask me questions there. This has been a presentation of the Library of Congress. Visit us at loc.gov.